This video here starts us out in chapter 5. Chapter 5 deals with the conic sections and there are four conic sections that we'll be working with in this chapter. The circle being the first conic section and then we'll be looking at parabolas, ellipses and hyperbolas as well as well as solving equations that deal with conic sections. So in chapter 5 in this first section the circle. Now there are two forms of equations that you can work with in, in the circle. There's the standard form of the equation, and we always use the center as marking of a circle as HK, so that'll be this, the center of all of our conic sections, actually. And the radius is little r, so if you see this form, where you have x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared equaling some number r squared, that's the standard form of a circle. If you expand that out when there's numbers in there and leave the x and y's, uh, it, works, it comes out to a form where you have this form here, the general form, a, ax squared plus bx, by squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals zero, and a and b always are equal numbers to have a circle, but they can't be equal to zero. So we'll look at an example the first example that we're going to deal with in the circle area uh, today is looking at, well, what happens if you get a circle equation in standard form and you want to find the center and the radius? Well, that's fairly simple. All you have to do is you have to look within the brackets. So in our case here, the center of the circle is hk. The value of h is always the opposite of what's in the brackets here. So h is negative 3. And, and k, being with the y, is positive 2. So our center is negative 3, 2. And then to get the radius, you just have to remember that this is r squared, so r squared equals 64. Solve for r by rooting both sides. r is going to equal 8. Okay, similarly, along with that, in our second part of the equation, Notice when you have no number with the x. Well, if you have no number with the x squared, that's just like saying x plus 0 all squared plus y minus 1 all squared equals 30. So if we were to, to calculate the center in this case, the h is a 0. And the k is a 1. So 0, 1 is our center. And then to get our radius, we take r squared is equal to 30. Therefore, r is equal to root 30. And we can't reduce root 30 down any farther. So that would be uh, the very first example of circle equations. There are second equations that you deal with in circles, quite similar. And here we have... Find, finding a circle equation that when we're given the center and the radius. So it's the opposite of what we just did in example one. So what you do is you use the general form, sorry, pardon me, the standard form of the uh, equation, and we plug in the numbers. So we know that h, k are these, and that r is that. So we just plug it in. So we go x minus h, which would be minus 3, all squared, plus y, minus minus 2. So minus minus 2 would be positive 2, all squared, and then equals 2 root 3, all squared. So I've got x minus 3, all squared, plus y plus 2 all squared equals, the square of this is 4, square of 2 times 2 is 4, times root 3 times root 3 is 3, so 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, that is not in general form, that's in standard form, so we must expand this out. So this is x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared plus 4. 4y plus 4 equals 12. So then we bring all the numbers to this side. 
we're going to get x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y. And we have 9 and 4, that's 13, minus 12 is plus 1 equals 0. So that gives us our general form of the equation in that problem. I should have left a little more space there. What happens if you have a similar example with a zero in it? Well, similar thing happens. The x minus zero all squared plus y minus two all squared equals five squared. So this should just be x squared plus, let's expand this out, y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 25. So then if we write that in, in proper order to get the general form, it's x squared plus y squared minus 4y. And if we minus 25 from both sides, we are going to get negative 21 equals 0. Notice there's no x coefficient in that one because we didn't have, uh, it was a, a 0 x point as an, in part of our center. Okay, in example 3 here, we won't have enough time to finish it here on this tutorial. So in the next tutorial, we'll be looking at a third example, finding the characteristics of a circle given the form of the circle in general form. So we'll do that in our next tutorial.